So, on to the solution for the year term. We have d equals s times t, always putting that formula down before we start. Our speed, 8.4 times a half, or just half of 8.4. Quick calculation tells us 4.2, and again, kilometers per hour. So we're working in kilometers here. Now, we're going to make this a little bit harder because we're going to look at a worded question now. This is going to be our final example, is working through this one. Like we did yesterday, it's key for us to pick out the important information that we've got in our question. So Mr. Stewart drove for two hours, so we've got time at 25 miles an hour, so we've got a speed. So our first thing we've got is S equals 25, T equals 2. Okay, that's our first piece of information, but we've got more information. And then sped up to 50 miles per hour for half an hour. So we're going to label this, this is part one of our journey. But we've got a part two as well. And I'm going to pop that part two just a little bit further down. So we're going to put part two of this same journey is when we're doing a speed of 50 miles an hour and our time is half an hour. With each bit, let's work out our distance because we're trying to find how far did he travel in total. So you want the total distance. So let's work out the distance for each part using d equals s times t. That's 25 times 2, which is 50. Going back to our question, we've got 50 miles. So the first section of the journey is travel 50 miles. The second section, we have d equals s times t. That's 50 times a half, which is 25 miles. Finally, we've got to finish off because we were asked for the total distance. So the total is adding our two bits together, so that is 50, add our 25, and so overall we have 75 miles. And there's our answer. So, a little bit more complicated, we've got two parts to our journey, and we're going to pick that information out from a worded question. But, have a go. Here's one for you to go at. The last video will be the solution to this question here.